Okay, so I'm using a website called Screencast-O-Matic to show you how to use Flipgrid, which is weird. I think you can, <laughs> Flipgrid is new to me, but I think you can use Flipgrid to also record your screen. So um, I may try it that way as well. Uh, but I wanted to give you an option for an easy way to record a video of yourself reading a section of one of the assigned poems. Um, and explaining why you chose that excerpt of the poem and um, to read it for us with expression and share with the class why you thought uh, that section of the poem was particularly significant and how it relates to today or anything in your experience. Um, so as you look at your screen, when you get to Flipgrid, and I'll send you a little link um, you should be able to click on the topic and that gives you the topic and then to record a response click that um, that's not it yes so click the little three digits or three lines up in the right hand corner three dots and then hit record a response and then use your microphone, allow, all that sort of thing. Um, and it's going to ask you to um, get that all going. I guess my camera is being used by something else. So um, I could also import a video. So if I wanted to make a video on my phone and then import it, it looks like I can do that easily. Um, so we're trying with the camera thing. Um, it's really not going to let me. Uh, because I'm on this other thing, I think. So anyway, I will try it again on the actual Flipgrid. Uh, yeah, so if I wanted to upload a video, I could do that if I saved in one of these files. I could save and then upload to Flipgrid. Um, so that's another option. You can also just make your own YouTube video. Um, you can also use Screencast-O-Matic. Um, however, you can get a link to me um, is fine. Screencast-O-Matic, I still have to upload to YouTube to get it to work for a video. So that's that. Um, again, I will try this again on Flipgrid. Um, but again, you can use YouTube.